Hello, beautiful spirits. Thanks for joining me here. I hope everyone's doing well. My name is Donna, and we're going to jump into this reading for Taurus. It's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions of a lover, person of interest. Release the old and rest. So your person definitely likes having a new chapter with you. They want to let go of any old um, baggage they have, and they want to come in fresh and new to this relationship. You are not alone. You have a guardian angel guarding and protecting your connection with this person. And we have bask in joy and light. Well, your person's thoroughly enjoying you. So let's look and see now for our Taurus friends. It is a general reading, and as all of you know, everything won't resonate. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest. But Taurus, what does your person think about you currently? Let's see what they think about you. We have the energy of the Five of Cups. They're thinking that there's been some sort of disappointment, that you may they may have disappointed you. They're feeling very sad. They feel as though you may have rejected them. They... Uh, three of cups they feel as though you might have put them in the friendship zone Taurus so that's what they think when they think of you they feel as though you are uh, holding back you know you've gone quiet on them the hermit card is Virgo energy so your person feels as though you may not want romance with them when they think about you that's what they think when we look at how they feel about you look at that twin flame very twin flame energy it is a two of cups but it's two hearts beating as one they feel as though you are their soulmate they feel deep love deep gratitude deep connection when they're with you they couldn't possibly be happier oh here we have another twin flame card we have a this is a number 22 it is unusual it is the only deck this is a naked heart tarot as you can see, we have this a beautiful abundance of flowers, transformation. This is about divine partnership. The number 22, 1111, they feel as though you're the one. They don't think, though, that you are on the same page. What else do we have here for how they feel about you? Ten of Swords, they feel very much as though you have given them some sort of a clear understanding that you may not be interested or that they've done something that has hurt you tremendously but in their heart space they feel wounded they feel very much wounded in the energy that we see here the ten of swords is the ending it can also mean another meaning of this card is simply that in their heart space they're just worn out they feel as though, perhaps for some of you, that they've tried to give their all and they haven't gotten anywhere with you other than friendship. So when we look at how they, what they intend with you, they intend to capture your heart. You are the lovely nine of pentacles. They see you as somebody who is abundant, somebody who is hardworking, that you have it all, that you don't need them, and they want to present themselves. They intend to present themselves as highly desirable to you. The spirit of wands taking a leadership role. Your person wants to step in with this very sexy king of wands energy they have a lot of pride a lot of dignity they're hoping that they can make a big gesture towards winning your heart we get the heart of cups they have this strong desire to tell you they intend to tell you that they love you they intend to tell you what they want in this relationship they they intend to win so your person is all about transforming themselves or the relationship into someone that you would find desirable what are their actions their actions ten of coins look at that energy taurus taurus that's virgo energy you have a lot of virgo a lot of earth sign entered energy here but a lot of emotion too so your person wants this legacy relationship they are going to this is their action they are going to do everything they can to build a legacy life with you. This is till death do, our, do us part energy. They want to have a beautiful home, children, life. They want abundance. They want to build a life of epic proportion with you. 
Let's see, and that's our action. Look at that, the Magician card, Gemini energy and Virgo energy. This person has all the tools to win in love with you. They totally are going to do, pull out all the stops, do everything they can. They're not quite sure though what direction to head. That is the Hermit card energy and it speaks to the fact that they're a little upside down here. We have the Hanged Man energy, Pisces really saying that as a practical matter they don't know what step to take so they don't they feel a little bit lost here they're in it to win it they plan on manifesting you but right now they're taking a break and trying to use their intuition and look at things from your perspective to see where they may have gone wrong or what they can develop in this in this relationship with you so let's look at the clarifiers and see what we have here for you we see heartbreak, sadness, disappointment, feeling as, you know, they're feeling very blue when they think of you. They, they just feel as though you are not accepting them as a romantic interest. Why is it here? Taurus, Taurus, what's going on? Judgment card. They feel as though you have released them. So there may have been a breakup in this relationship. There may have been an event in which you just felt like you couldn't go forward, that you've put some sort of limitation, you've released them in some way. Well, that would be a good reason to feel sad, right, Taurus? Because you're lovely. All right, we see the Justice card. They do feel as though that is the card of Libra. It's a card that speaks to the fact that they want things very balanced between the two of you that maybe things were out of balance or they're currently out of balance, but your person really sees you as very fair, very loving, very kind. They feel as though, you know, they've done something to deserve your unhappiness. They definitely feel as though they've disappointed you. The Hermit card is clarified by the Emperor. So even though the two of you are not really spending time together right now, it doesn't look like the two of you are moving forward in your relationship there it looks like there's a timeout there could have been a ghosting um, your person thinks that you may have ghosted them but they're very strategic in what they want how they plan on moving this forward with you because your person is not going to give up let me tell you that not with all of that fiery energy and love that they have for you they don't even know how to give up on you so let's see why is the two of cups here in terms of their heart space we have temperance card yep the reconciliation card they want you to reconcile with them that is their intention in this relationship is to do everything they can to bring it back into alignment so that you feel like you're with your best friend why is the naked heart here the nine of swords They feel in their heart space that you don't believe in them. The Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. There's been some sort of communication or conversation in which they feel that you've ended things and that you have no, no desire to, to go back with them. Your person is very much in the energy of feeling very defeated in their heart. They feel very sad right now. They feel very much like you have just simply rejected them outright, that there's no recourse, that they have no place to go in this relationship with you. But they're not giving up. Look at these cards. They're not giving up. So why do we have the Nine of Pentacles? They see you as single, ready to mingle. They want to be equal to you. They want to be just as desirable as you are. Six of Swords, they want to heal the relationship. They definitely want to move forward from some incident or situation in which you did judge them fairly and it looks like it was some kind of communication we get the world card so your person intends to finish out this cycle being very successful with you going to the next level let's see why we have the card that says that they feel very stabbed in the back or defeated the hermit card see we have the hermit card here the hermit card here so it speaks to the fact that you know you look like you've ghosted them or you've cut them off you've cut them out of your life let's see why we would have this card here of nine of swords okay so you felt your person was a little bit of a lightweight 
they feel as though you have just discounted them, that they can't measure up to your expectations, and that because of it, you have really sort of just left them in the cold with that hermit. The card clarifying the Heart of Cups, their love for you. Three of Swords, they feel as though you love someone else. Your person feels as though you've chosen somebody else. You may be in a third party situation, but your person is really heartbroken. Their intention is to try to win you back. The Magician card is clarifying their actions. Magician, Magician, your person is pulling out the stops. They want to create magic. They want this relationship no matter what. They are not giving up. They're not giving up, Taurus. Your person is really bent on having this beautiful, nurturing, Capricorn, grounded, loving relationship with you. What is it that they're trying to see differently? Tell us that. A victory. So they're trying to look at a victory from a different angle. They're trying to see how to win your heart. Your person is in it to win it. They feel as though they have to win you back. I do want to look more, though, at that Ten of Swords energy. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? The Death card. Okay. Ah, the Seven of Cups. So what we see is they consider you a lightweight, or they, can, Taurus, they think that you consider them a lightweight, that you may still be fantasizing about somebody from the past that you broke up with. That's good news, actually, Taurus, because they feel as though they still have a chance to win, that they can transform that they were very um, confusing with you. They confused you. They confused your intention or their intention with you. They feel as though they made quite a bit of a mess of things and that because of that, you ended it, but they want this transformation with you. They definitely feel as though you have deemed them not to be mature enough, essentially. Well, they're going to try to prove it to you. They're going to do everything they can in their power to win this relationship, to to in it, to win it, as I like to say. But that is your energy, Taurus. So that's your thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions. Thank you for joining me. Please send some likes, subscribes, and comments my way. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some love back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much, Taurus. Bye-bye.